Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite makes the process of becoming a published best-selling author as simple as sipping your morning cup of coffee. You can learn more about Authors Unite at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Anand Vati. He is an experienced writer, editor, and content strategist and helps businesses with go-to content marketing plans and enhanced customer reach. So welcome to the show, man. Hey, everyone. Thank you, Tyler, so much for welcoming me. Of course, man. Grateful to have you here. We have you all the way from India. I'm in Miami, so I'm so grateful we were able to connect and make this happen. Um, the first one I have for you, man, is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Uh, so I did not know what I wanted to do in my life until my third job and four years into my professional career. When I got into my third job, it was not in the basis of any skill that I had. I had just cleared an exam and got this job based on my performance. But in another year after that, I got myself trained in two separate sets of skills, which opened three separate career paths for me. The effect was that for my fourth job, I landed in total about seven job offers which is kind of a big deal when you don't have an entirely relevant experience. Mm. So the message is, it might take you time to realize what you want to do in your career, and you might feel that you're lagging big time, but that's okay. Try different things until you're 100% sure that this is what you want to do, and when you have that realization, go all guns blazing to make yourself the very best at it. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? So uh, can I give two, please, Tyler? Of course, yeah. Okay, great. Thanks, man. So the first one is you cannot be an awesome writer until and unless you are at least a good enough of a reader. And the second one is even when you are writing a promotional copy or a ROI focused piece of content, focus on people rather than focusing on the search engine. You'll get better results. Mm. And uh, what's your best piece of overall business advice? You're not necessarily industry specific. Okay, so Tara, I believe in hiring smart people and letting them make a lot of decisions. Now, this has two benefits. It not only makes them feel that they're tangibly contributing to the organization, but when they do realize that their opinions are valued, they'll go out of their ways to get things done. And a hidden benefit is that you, as the CEO, will learn a lot from these people by having new perspectives and approaches to tackle things. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? So I would say, hey, buddy, you need to be a little hard on yourself. The reason is when stuck with a difficult situation, say getting up at five in the morning, it's very easy to say, no, I don't want to do it. And extremely difficult to say, yes, I will do it. So in order to not say that, no, you need to be a little hard on yourself. And uh, kind of going a little bit down a different path, but in your opinion, mm -hmm. what is the key to happiness? So when it comes to happiness, I have a pretty common and cliche theory. And it goes like, it's extremely important to do what you love. And if that does not happen in your professional capacity, then at least try to do a few things that you absolutely love in your off time. I think it's extremely important to lead a happy or a satisfied life. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? So uh, I mostly read books on human psychology and businesses. And because there have been lots of wonderful books that I've read over the years, it's kind of a difficult one to pick one. So I'll just quote one from my recent favorites. The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz. And I feel this book is for every single working professional. So among all the other extraordinary things that Ben has said, what I most liked about this book is his take on failure. He says, a great reason for failing won't preserve one dollar of your investors, won't save one employer's job, or won't even get you a new customer. Hence, let's try not to glorify our reasons for failure, and instead we should realize it, learn from it, and move forward to not commit it again. And I feel that's one of the greatest pieces of advice that anyone can give. Mm -hmm. And what is your favorite quote and why? 
So uh, there is this one quote that I came across some time back, and I extremely love it. So it goes like, "Power never corrupts people. It's who you actually are from within, according to which you will use the power." Hence, we can actually say that power reveals people for who they truly are. Now, why this came up as really striking to me is that suppose, like you know, you're the CEO of a company and want to fill a vacant managerial position. Now, if we assume for a second that the skill set and competency levels are same for all the prospective hires, every single one of them will seem good enough for fit. But when you give them temporary power, only then you'll get to know how are they as a person, how they treat others. And if they can do the job of people managing, which is at the heart of any manager's job, and I feel doing this one thing can tell a lot about anyone. Mm, I love it, man. Thank you so much for coming on. The last one that I have for you before we let you go is where is the mm -hmm. best place for people to connect with you online? So I'm mostly active on LinkedIn. So anyone wanting to get a consultation or share a conversation just needs to drop a hat. That's it. Perfect, man. Thanks again for jumping on. Thank you so much, Sal. It was a pleasure. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.